Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia, the definitive edition with the likes of Rite Games. On the last episode, we headed out of Mantake after uh, killing Qmor, which was a whole thing. Uh, yes, we killed Qmor in Mantake, thus saving the town but getting in trouble with Flynn. Um, and then we ended up having to sneak our way through the Weasand of Kados, which was being blocked off by the Flint Brigade for some reason. Um, we're worried about what, what might be happening here in Northern Polica since this is the place that they are blocking off. Um, but in any case, we made it to Northern Polica just in time for the new moon. So we're going to have to go and try and get an audience with Bellius. Um, but before we do that, we have a couple of... Um, just orders of business, I suppose. Uh, between episodes, I did some grinding um, because we were getting killed kind of easily in the Weasel of Kados on hard mode. And I was like, you know what? We need to level up a little bit. Um, we only leveled up like a couple of levels, I think. Everyone's now above level 30, which is nice. Um, the point it really wasn't to level up. It was mostly actually to earn money because uh, we were broke, but um, it's fine. We leveled up. Um, we learned a lot of different things on different weapons. Um, currently, I just have everyone on what's best for them in terms of power, but um, yeah, Rita's still got a ton to learn. Um, but I did get some new sub weapons as well. Everyone's doing all of those things. So, you know. Life is good. That happened. Uh, however, as as it always happens when I'm grinding on Vesperia, <laughs> we got a ton of new content while I was doing that. Um, so here is a montage of all of the new skits and victory quotes I got when grinding. Enjoy! You're weak. You're a hack! You're whack! <laughs> no, Yuri, our love will come! Okay, okay. Love? What does she mean? I am awesome. More like... Sketchy? Yeah. Wow, the days just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the Guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point. I'd heard stories about it, but man, they sure picked a spot for a Colosseum. It's at the tip of the continent of Desier, after all. Now that you mention it, this continent has a pretty strange shape. I wonder why it's shaped the way it is. Hmm. I'll bet we might figure out why if we walked all the way around it. That's our map lover, Captain Carol. I don't love maps. No, no, don't be shy. It's a wonderful hobby. Ugh, that doesn't sound like a compliment at all. Stop making food I don't like. Make something else. I won't take this bullion. Okay, no food for you then. All of us have things we don't like, but you don't see us complaining. Live with it. You should be thankful. I stopped reading to come here and eat with you, you know. An unbalanced diet can lead to an unhealthy body. I'm done growing. I can afford a little lack of nutrition at my age. <laughs> Repeat's making fun of you, old man. He says you're a disgrace to humans. You're the oldest one here. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No way. I'm a poor excuse for a grown-up. Sheesh, listen to him. You're terrible. Synthesis artisans are amazing. They produce such lovely items in such a short time. Yes, it really is an art. The quality is always second to none, too. And the same artisan is always sneaking into the cities we visit just before we get there. What? what? Are you really? serious? Oh, yeah. I wish I had half the vitality he has. We're nothing compared to how much he gets around. Yeah, right, okay. There's no way he could do that. Really? Do you think it's more likely that the world's full of such skilled artisans? Y you too, Judith? Do you really believe that? And he must have great instincts, too. We should see about getting him to join Brave Vesperia. R really? C Carol, 
the next time we meet him, let's see if he'll join. Right, okay. Whoa, I think those two actually fell for all that. The princess and the kids still have a lot to learn. I hear they're actually using Blastia to do the synthesis. You know, maybe we got a little carried away. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now that you've seen all that, I think we're just gonna go ahead and sleep at the end, which is what we have to do to continue the story. Um, good thing I got gold, otherwise I'd be really broke and wouldn't be able to afford this. Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. About who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? Well, that's not good, is it? Okay. Thanks, Hunting Blades, for randomly showing up here, I guess. Okay, uh, we don't need to buy any items. I bought a whole frick ton of them. Um, could probably actually do it by some ingredients, but I'm not gonna bother because we can't even make the only thing he's got left to master because there's no potatoes here. Uh, first it was tomatoes, now it's potatoes. It's the saddest. Anyway, let's go up and see Bellius because that is more important than cooking. <laughs> Okay. Matt, let us in, please. We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But you can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay, then. We promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. Well, thank you for letting us pass, Nats. I wonder why that voice allowed us through. In any case, I very quickly am going to just take off the canteens. I forgot about them. Um, so, we're not in the desert anymore. Let's, let's remove the canteens. Um... Although I did notice when I was um, grinding that actually Patty has a little canteen as well. It's like a little potion vial or something, the laboratory canteen. I kind of love it, <laughs> but we, we're not going to keep on for now um, because we're no longer in the desert. So goodbye canteens. No more attachments here. Um, yeah, they're not intrusive at least, but yeah. I just realized that her shoes changed as well. She's not got boots anymore. They're just sandals. That's so cool! Okay, sorry, let's go. <laughs> I'm getting so distracted by this just this game in general. Oh hey, what warehouse that we can't go into. Let us clean for you. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh this is a very long staircase. Oh, I suppose the Coliseum is huge though. Okay. Let's head into Bellis' room. Hey! 
What's going on? Everybody still here? Yes. yes. And here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. I wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago. Did you not? I would not think, then, that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia, too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed. We have governed this city for ages. Wow! That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> Well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Intellikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Don has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. So some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You Antilike are definitely... interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit. Is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison, but what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to Rapscallions. <laughs> As if I really care. Uh, where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Colosseum about now. We Hunting Blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we mete out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast.
It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Oh dear, this is not going well at all. The hunting blades. Of course they're the ones who are messing everything up. <laughs> okay, we have a skit here. What are they- what they're after? What they are after? <laughs> who do they think they are? What a bunch of total clods! I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights- I mean, Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now, though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Yeah, we should probably try our best to maintain order. Oh, I forgot about fights on the stairs. <laughs> Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. I absolutely forgot that we have to fight a whole bunch of haunting blades. Okay. Oh, uh, it's a green. Okay. Hi. Here comes a new spell. What did you learn? What did you learn? <laughs> Spiral flare, holy Ow. I got hurt there. Uh Okay. That, that's alright. Okay. Oh yeah, I got a new art for Yuri. It's ghost school. It's my favorite, I love it. I mean, I say it's my favorite. Second only to the wonder that is Dragonstorm. Uh, because Dragonstorm is clearly the best art in the entire freaking game. But this means that I can get out of being flanked. Okay. I also got um, the Limit Trio, which means I have three Limit Bars now. Um, it was just like a uh, uh, the, the attachment UK thing, but not an attachment. Um, and I also got it was a synthesizer. And I got the um, Art Sphere, so now I can do arts with my ALB as well. So it's like boom, boom, boom. That one's on my L button. LB, whatever it is. Uh, you're, Raven, Raven. Raven, I know how your love shot works. But please heal me. Yeah, he got love shot so he can heal people now. Uh, it has an interesting mechanic where it, um, it has a targeting priority of uh, healing the women first, basically. <laughs> Which is like, okay then. Okay, Raven. Oh, I didn't mean to let him use an item. I don't know what he even used. I'm just getting started. Okay, I can't cook. Okay. Oh, I feel so powerful. Yay! All right. Um, I'm actually gonna very quickly remove that cooking shortcut. Um. Uh, I'm tempted to switch around my party a bit, but we'll leave it for now, it's fine. This is the party I've chosen. Uh, we're, we're gonna try not to fight too much, I think. Well, mm, I don't think I'll have missed any of them. Let's, let's fight this guy just in case. That's over. Okay, I think we actually have got all of the enemies here. That's fine, let's just ignore the rest of them. Need to make sure I'm using all my magic lenses. This is awful! Could Nan have done this? You alright? Nats has gone to defend the Colosseum from the Hunting Blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll... If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've gotta go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. Going up as in the Colosseum? Okay. Uh, can I quickly heal or is that, is that a thing I'm allowed to do? <laughs> can I go and sleep at the inn? <laughs> like, what? we have to hurry to this. No, dang it. They drained all of their TP. Well, I mean, Estelle didn't because I turned off all of her arts, but Rita's drained all of hers. Oh well.
The Coliseum is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw immediately! Nan, you've got to stop! Carol, what are you doing here? You know that fights between guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union. What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself. What? Harry, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with them! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be! Nan! No! <sighs> Aw, oh, down to your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Bellius' minions, huh? We're brave Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! Death to those who side with the monsters! Let's eliminate them! Well, this is going well. Okay. Let's, uh, give these things a little magic lens. Uh, okay. Hi. Oh, don't, don't, don't you dare go and hit my caster immediately. Ah, crap. I should have done Ghost Wolf. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. I'd also like to magic lens Pepe. Okay, that, that's a Pepe. Yep. He doesn't look as green as I remember. Okay. <laughs> Some, someone use a, a magic lens on Ali. Ale. Yep, okay, she's she's a lady. Oh yeah, I should probably get rid of her. Her magic hunger spurts for you. Okay, uh Okay, um you have item throw on. Throw a melange gel at me, please. Oh, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Okay, I need to give Raven a little pineapple. Because he can heal. Oh, I should probably also give Rita a pineapple because she is trash. I'm using this. Oh no. Okay, I got away from that. Thank God. Okay. I died. I died. Okay. Go easy on the items. Let me use what I need. All right. Yeah, if he was healing me. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, okay, she's dead, she's dead. Raven died? Okay. Okay, uh, let's just try and kill them. And hopefully Estelle will be able to use her resurrection at some point. Oh god, uh, Estelle, use a lemon gel. Oh no. Don't you dare kill anyone else. I thought I was dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Heal yourself. Oh, alright, alright. Okay. Ah. Okay, he has like no health left. And I I oh god. Okay, I killed one, it's fine. Oh, Okay, that didn't go all that well, but that's fine. Um, but now, now, we're, now we're good. Um, I need a bit of TP, never mind everyone else, wow. Man, these guys are just going crazy. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue on. Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Bellius is okay. Ah! Dutre! Nats, you are unhurt. You would yet challenge me, humans? 
Your kind is the root of all evil. The root of evil, Bellius? You got it all wrong. Just look. All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It, it is up to us, to the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You, you monsters are all alike. Judy! Dolce! I'll heal you. You mustn't. Your power is... No. W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Colosseum. Dolce Bellius! Please control yourself! Dolce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this! But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Bellius. Estelle, wake up! Right. Here she comes! Kill or be killed, huh? Sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. Kill me! What is my power? The poison that Pharaoh talked about. Live! You gotta be kidding. I can't believe we gotta put her down. Kill me! I won't hold back. That's the only way, right? Holy power! Okay, this is not going well at all. What's Magic Lens Bellius? Oh gosh, okay. So this is Bellius. <laughs> oh, this is a fight. This is a fight, okay. Oh crap, 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 okay. I need Raven to heal himself. Um, with a pineapple. Oh, I feel so bad for Bellius. Okay, uh, could you also just pineapple gel me, please? Ah. Okay. Oh, it's the worst because she's saying like good and run and stuff, and I feel so bad for her. Oh, she clearly doesn't want to be fought. Oh, that's the saddest. Okay. Oh, let's go, the week. Oh God, we're dead. Look at this thing. That Raven. Raven. Oh, I should actually let Estelle use more arts. I turned off half of her arts. Okay, give her some nurse. Give her some nurse. Um, add some photon. Wait, no, hold on. It's resistant to light, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi. Don't come near me, please. Uh. Oh, brilliant! Okay. Ah, crap. Okay, hi, Bellius. Oh no, don't do that. For some reason, I remember this battle and like the music and everything for it really clearly, and some of the others I just forget about, but this one is really clear in my mind. Oh well. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, my laptop. Take this. Oh, brilliant angels, grant us your favor. Uh, I'm not finished. No. Uh, ah, crap. I'm okay. Take this. Run. Get out. I'm running. I'm running. Oh, incandescent lotus. Oh, don't say you're sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, brilliant angels, grant us your favor. Okay, uh, use a pineapple. Oh, they're all just using all of their TP. We're gonna run out of TP healing items, but that's fine. Ow. Oh, I got stunned. 
Run. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, flickering blaze burn. Burn. Let's just, you know, stay away from her for a bit. Uh, see, this is the reason I set up my party like this, so that I would have some ranged fighters and no one would have to get near her. I just remember it being... Better to stay away. Hi, Bellius, how you doing? Let's, let's just... Oh, oh no. I'm not sure over. Oh, ah, she's an overall of it again. Oh, gosh, okay. I'm gonna throw some stuff around. Uh, let's, let's throw... I'll throw some pineapples. They, they're they so expensive. I feel so crappy, like, using all of them, but... Oh, God, Raven! Uh, oh god, Estelle, that was a that was a combo, man. Okay, we're we're doing okay. Actually, we're getting down our health really easily. Oh no! I didn't mean to get involved with that. Yeah, I was gonna say you're gonna get hit by that Estelle. Okay, uh... Um... Oh, I'm just waiting for it because there's something that's gonna happen in this battle and I can't say what it is yet because it's not happened. And I'm just waiting for it. Ugh. Like, you just know when they put things around the battlefields. I just got nowhere near it, okay. Oh, uh, she's a normal I'm Megan. I'm using this. I'm very glad that I have two healers in the party right now. Oh. oh, oh, there is, there is. Okay, crap. And now I'm gonna wait. Okay, yeah, I have to use a magic lens on belly stubble. Okay, you, Rhea, magic lens, belly stubble. I'm <sighs> yeah, that, that's that's the belly stubble. Okay. Oh, oh come on. Grant us your favor. Oh, sharpened rage. Oh no 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 no! That was the wrong art. Okay. Uh, could you maybe throw pineapple gel at me while I attack this lamb? Okay. 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 Got one. Uh. Oh god, 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 god. Okay, two. Ah, crap. Uh, I need that one. Oh no, do I have to get them all within a quick amount of time or no? Okay. One more, one more, one more. Oh god, Rita died. My power is gone. Strike now. Okay, thank god. Okay. That's a secret mission done, guys. Okay, we can go back to normal now. Uh, so I'll take your pineapple. Uh, don't die, please. <laughs> I need you. Hi there. Oh wait, no. Oh, dang it! Okay. Uh, let's let's boom boom. Okay. Hi. Okay, now we can just go all out on her at the very least, so that's good. Ow! Yeah, she's the reason I had to get money so that I could get more items. Oh. Boom! Hell yeah! Okay, that was that was a good that was a that was a good combo. Oh no, let's get out of the way. Uh, yeah, I've I've never felt prouder of um a combo of mine, but now I do. Okay. Are you just taunting over there? Is that all you're doing over there? Oh god, she's having a she's having a time. Okay, this is going well. Oh god, stop attacking! 
Or just kill me, that's also fine. Uh... Yeah, yeah, use your life on me, please. Okay. I am also gonna heal myself, because I am scared now. Okay. I was nowhere near it, okay. Oh god, Raven! You cannot snake Okay, bye! Life is life is good. Uh people are not dead. Oh no, okay. What? Oh okay, I thought I said three thousand, not thirty two thousand. That was um massively wrong. Okay. Uh, just uh, don't kill my healer, please. Oh, you just killed Rhea. That's the worst. Okay, uh, we're doing good, we're doing good. If I'm lucky, maybe we'll get enough items after- not items. <laughs> enough money after this to buy more items. Ow. Boom, 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 boom. Die! Okay, just send her a space, that's fine. Okay, boom! Is it over? It's my fault. Hell yeah, we did it! Oh my god, the greed! <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, so we got a common bonus at defeating boss nice. Uh, lit candlesticks and eliminated the illusions. That was the yeah, secret mission. Fatal strike chain bonus. Oh my gosh. Oh, we attacked with resistance? Oops, never mind. That was probably Rita. Who knows? Uh, 10 hit combo burst starts and fatal strikes used. Oh, uh, life is good. Increased grade bonus. Holy cow. Oh yeah, I have that on, on Raven. I have the dice on Raven to do that. Yeah, okay. We did it on hard mode. I'm very glad about this. Okay, Let, let's uh, let's continue on with the story, shall we? I'm not done yet. Hooray for the old man! It's over. Duce, no. What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. Now, go to Pharaoh, if you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius. Farewell. This is... is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapatheia! What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally. Done, White Horse! Acquired the following, Apatheia cyano seal crystal. A piece of high-density air transformed from Bellius. Little is known about it. So, this must have been what Harry meant. Humans, we'll be taking that stone! Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! 
Take anyone still standing in the Colosseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. I've secured an escape! Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No. I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but... I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. W what are you doing? There. You saved me, didn't you? What? Uh, but I... Let's move. Okay. Wait! Raven left the party. Well, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we have a skit here. Bellius is dead. Bellius? How could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah. Think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce of Palestrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri... This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor, then. But what if the harbor's blockaded, too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yes! Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Ceres Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. Yuri Lowell! This is the end of the line! Lady Estelise, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. But I... I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. All right then, I guess we can't go back to the Coliseum ever. <laughs> oh gosh, we really get in a lot of trouble, don't we? Oh, poor Pelleas. I, I really feel bad about that. Okay, let, let's just get out of here. Oh dear. <laughs> Flynn! Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Jormgen said. The Apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Hand it over. Whoa, is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty, but you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? 
<laughs> Come on. Captain. What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it. You men, raise the anchor. Yeah, man, raise the anchor. Raven, where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey, that's the guy. Judy? Where is this power coming from? Is it the Saris Blastia? Yeah! We broke through! The rudder handling's perfect. What's the deal with this formula? I've never seen anything like it. What? What are you doing? No! Stop! Why would you... This is the path I have chosen. You're that dragon freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? Why?! Judith left the party. Raven joined the party. Our genius mage has given the Ceres Blastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Ceres Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond in keeping her word. So luckily, we still had the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. Yeah, the mid kind of does go downhill once people realize that you're actually a murderer. <laughs> you know, just saying. Anyway, we have a skit here. The truth about Judith. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. Yeah, I don't blame you. Everything has kind of gone to hell. And I mean, I love it, but... <laughs> oh, wow, this is... A part of the game. Also this music in the background, I love it. I'm pretty sure this is Judith's theme, I think? I don't know exactly what it's called, but I love it. Uh, what, what's through here? It's opened, but there's no point of going inside, it's just a storage room. Fair enough, okay. Right, let's uh, head up this way. All right, uh, who to talk to first? Let's talk to the dog first, hi, repeat. So many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. Sorry for dragging you around, Repeat. <coughs> right, there's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. Yep, having the ship moving is kind of important. Hi, Repeat. Whimper. This poor dog. I wonder if Repeat gets seasick or like just doesn't like boats. I mean, he's a dog, so I wouldn't be surprised. Hi, Rita. Hmm. Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. 
I can't believe that Judith was... Why was she with us in the first place? That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Heliord, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yes. She knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Rago and Kumor? Huh. I don't care much about what happened to them. What you did may have been a crime, but if you ask me, though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Are you saying the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but if she had just shared what she knew about the Child of the Full Moon and about the Entelechaea, Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that Blastia. Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. Hmm, I couldn't say. Is it just me, or did you almost sound sad about the fact that you're just not coming back, Rhea? Hmm. Still not back yet. Not back yet? Do you mean the life of the Blastia, or do you mean Judith? I'm very curious. Okay, we have a skit here. The end of the guild? I was okay with taking out bad people on my own, but I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I got a face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol, too. Who knows what'll happen to brave Vesperia? Man, and we just took on a new job as well. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Hi, Raven, how you doing? Ah, there you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry, I mean, Entelechaea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here anyway? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. I heard that an ally of the Dons had been captured by a monster, and I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Apatheia, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius. So even though you got the Apatheia, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Yeah... You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him. So he works hard not to let anyone down. And then things like this happen. Palastrales not gonna be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight. I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Dongrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Gotcha. I actually do know how to get out of this, but... An eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. Raven, what are you planning? <laughs> I'm very suspicious. <laughs> oh god, okay. Hi Raven, how you doing? This is gonna get ugly. Yeah, I can imagine. Hi Harry. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Well, 
that's what happens when you get duped by Jaeger, of all people. <laughs> Freaking starting off with Rigi and then happening. Oh, uh, just. Yeah. Also, Brave Vesperia has really gotten on a lot of bad sites. I mean, we're in bad terms with the Knights, we're in bad terms with Palestrale now. Um, because we just killed the Dawn's like, longtime ally, we might be in trouble with Altosk if we're not careful. <laughs> And uh, we're in trouble with each other. Yay, Gildan fighting! Uh, hi, 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 how are you doing? How's the ship heading? Hmm, apparently we're being pushed north by the current. I see. Sorry for making you come all the way out here with us. Don't worry about it. This was my plan from the beginning, anyway. Well, I'm happy that we've got someone who knows how to pilot a ship, but you've got to go treasure hunting to get your memory back, right? That's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Life's longer than a bright red eel's ear or a slimy eel's body. Well, that's better than living life fast and recklessly. Besides, it ain't bad being here with you, Yuri. I'm glad to hear that. When I think about that, I start feeling like maybe my past doesn't really matter. But that doesn't mean you're gonna quit searching for your memories, does it? I, I'd like to know more about my grandfather, so I can figure out what I'm going to do in the future, and how I should think about the name Eifried. I see. Then I guess you can't stay with us forever, huh? I... but I've realized that there are many more good things when I'm with others than when I'm by myself. So, when my memory returns, I'd like to travel with all of you again. Yeah, if we get the chance, that might not be a bad idea. When that time comes, maybe Judy can also... I don't know. Judy has her own reasons for not being able to be with us. I hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. Yeah. I've actually grown quite fond of Patty. I didn't expect to like her this much. Oh. I feel so bad for her for the memory loss stuff. And also, it would have been interesting to hear her thoughts on Yuri murdering people. <laughs> Just because Eifried, her grandfather, was said to have, like, slaughtered a whole boat of people and betrayed a guild. And Yuri's basically just betrayed his guild by killing two people. So... It would have been interesting. Although technically murdered one of them before they made the guild, but whatever. Hi, how you doing? Rocking on the gentle waves, sailing on and on. Yep, that's what you're doing. <laughs> right. Let's get deep. Hi, Carol, how you doing? Oh, Yuri! What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. Yeah, I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might go okay since I was with you guys, but... Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? No, not at all. I'm working as hard as I can. All right, then I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can too. Hey, Yuri, can I ask you something? Yeah? Is it true that you... that you killed Rago and Kumor? It's true. How could you keep that from me? I kept meaning to tell you. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? I think there are some things that you have to do. Even if they're a crime, someone has to do them. Even if it means taking the blame. Maybe so, but even still... I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try to accept what I did. Yeah. Oh, buddy. <laughs> this poor 12-year-old child. Oh, he looks up to Yuri so much, and then hearing that Yuri would do something like that must have really shook him. Oh, this poor boy. Hi. Someone has to do it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go and talk to Mistel. Get even sadder today. Hi, how you doing? Can you see anything? I don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius, and with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> 
That was painful. It's not funny. But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Bellius said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelikea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelikea, to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Belia said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. You can do it, Stealth. I believe in you. Oh man, so many things going through so many heads today. Let me think about it. Okay, I will let you think. Um, and in the meantime... Last rest while we can. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to save and quit! <laughs> Well, I've finished making adjustments to the Blastia. I've checked all the other parts, too. Everything's ready. That's great! We'll be able to use the boat again! If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. We need to head to Dongris, too. Right! We've got to deliver Bellius' Apatheia. Why don't you let old Raven take care of that for you? What do you say? We couldn't ask that of you. Oh, that hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius's dying wish. It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Dawn also might know why everyone wants these Apatheas so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one too, don't forget. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. Well then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Don for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. If it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Don too. You too, Rita? A lot has happened, and I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It was the Don that told us to go find the Apathea in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So, Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrest? I'm going to Dongrest, too. Because going with us is profitable? Well, as long as you're piloting the ship, this works out well for us, too. It's not just that. I'm going because it sounds like there might be clues about my memory in Dongrest. Didn't you say that the Don in Dongrest was a friend of Ifreed's? Hmm? Oh yeah, I was talking about how Ifrid and the Don worked together when they fought the Empire. Then the Don might be able to give me some clues about my memory. Well, if that's the case, then let's travel together. Jeez, that old geezer sure is popular. I hope he doesn't get so busy that he faints. That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws, and you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrest. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. I'd wager that'd put us as close to Dongrest as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination. And finally we can move! Okay, I'm gonna find the nearest uh, coastline and go and save because holy cow, this has been going for a while. Where am I? Uh, let's go to the east. Okay. Um, so, this was an episode. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, so much happened in this episode and we're gonna wrap it up here. But like, wow. That, that was an episode, guys. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including all of the drama with Bellius in Nordopolica, with the hunting blades and the knights also being there. <laughs> 
um, what you think about the big reveal of, of Yuri's misdeeds and Judith's misdeeds. Um, yeah, just anything that you have to comment on, please let me know down below if you feel like it. Uh, but for now, I'd like to say once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.